Well, let me just tell you that if they fire on the Islamic Republic of Iran, they will be opening the gates of hell. This is not Iraq in 2003. Iran is not a broken-backed country with an unpopular leader, with no friends and allies in the region of the world. Iran is a vibrant, powerful country of nearly 80 million people, most of them young people, most of them united. United at least in their rejection of foreign interference in their country, of a foreign attack upon their country. And Iran is militarily strong in the way that Iraq was militarily weak. The Iranians can fight back, and they will fight back. The drone that they brought down, they say in their territorial waters, gives an indication of the ability and power of their military. They have millions of men, and women for that matter, either under arms or ready to be under arms. For many of those, it would be a pleasure to fight the United States and its allies in the region. And I want to turn to those allies in a minute. Because whichever Persian Gulf country allows its land to be used for the launching of an American attack on Iran will itself immediately be in flames, probably within the hour. The Straits of Hormuz, through which 35% of the world's oil flow, not American oil, by the way, they buy almost none of it, but it will bring the economy of many places, including yours, grinding to a halt within days or weeks. 35% of all the world's oil will be passing through or not passing through a narrow strait that the Iranians can and will easily block. Iran is also unlike Iraq in that it has friends in many, many places, strategically important places. Let's start with the obvious one. When Britain and the United States broke Iraq, it automatically made Iran powerful in Iraq. Iraq has millions of allies in Iraq, all of them armed or easily able to be armed. So the first place that will pay the price for a Donald Trump attack on Iran will be American assets and allies in Iraq in Qatar, in the UAE from which the drone that was shot down took off, and particularly in Saudi Arabia. Their oil fields are absolutely vulnerable to Iranian counter-attack, and their leadership, particularly the UAE and Saudi Arabia, are held responsible in Iran for American designs to attack their republic. In Lebanon, Iran has millions of friends. It has a whole powerful guerrilla army that are its friends in Lebanon. Hezbollah, inside Palestine, throughout the Persian Gulf region, throughout the world, Iran has friends. And that's why we say, pull these airplanes away sail those aircraft carriers back away as far as possible from Iran's borders. This constant ratcheting up of war fever can only end in disaster for all of us. Iran was complying with the nuclear deal, the JCPOA. Everybody else in the world agrees on that, except the United States and its satrapies. No more war, no war in the Gulf, no war on Iran.